Hey everybody, I sure hope you enjoyed our reading of the book, The Day the Crayons Quit Today. And I have a fun craft that we can do with some extra crayons you may have laying around the house. Maybe you've got some crayons that are dirty with age or kind of rubbed down to the nub and you're really not quite ready to throw them out yet because you're like, I mean, you can't throw anything away. Or maybe you just have laid them around for a rainy day, but I've got something fun we can do with them. And this is the project we can do. It's a melted crayon picture that you can make. And what you're gonna need to do is find a, an assortment of crayon colors you like. For this drawing, I used um, greens and yellows and yellow greens and a couple blues. And, um, and then we're going to glue them to our poster to our um, canvas or our, our poster board and then you're also going to need some fake flowers and some strings so let me show you what we have here um, this is the poster canvas that I picked up there's three of them in a package but you know we're not supposed to go out and go shopping right now so you might not have this at home and that's okay because if you've got a piece of cardboard and some um, white construction paper you can make your own canvas just glue the white construction paper onto the cardboard and then you'll have your own canvas. You can make it as big, as long, however you like it to look. Um, that's what you're going to need. Then you need to pick up a variety of crayons for the sample I'm gonna do with you guys. I found some pinks and purples and a couple blues and a yellow, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. You're going to need glue. I recommend using a hot glue gun. I think that a hot glue gun um, works faster and better on this project than the regular glue but again if you don't have a hot glue gun glue will work it's just going to take longer you're going to have to glue your crayons and then maybe go to bed and then when you get up in the morning the glue will be nice and hard and you can complete the project after that regular glue will just take longer you're also going to need some flowers for your picture i found some scrap um fake flowers in our basement but if you don't have these either you can make tissue paper flowers these are really easy to make um, I think it took me just a couple minutes to wrap these all together. You're just going to need tissue paper and a Chanel stick. Um, there are YouTube videos um, that show how to make these really easy flowers, and you can do that. And then you're also going to need some ribbon. Um, on my sample, I used some uh, thicker twiny-like string. Um, but for this sample that we're going to do with you guys, I've got a couple different ribbons here. We'll see what the colors melt out like to decide. Um, the color ribbon I want to do on that. My pink flower is running away. Or I have this colorful ribbon too that would also go with my tissue paper flowers if we have to do that for our drawing. We'll have to wait and see which one we like better. So let's go ahead and get started on this craft. Now this is a craft project that you're going to have to do with your kids um, because we're going to have hot glue and we're going to be using a blow dryer so they can help but they're definitely going to need um, a parent or a caregiver or an adult, someone who can help them with some of the hot stuff. So like I said, the first thing you want to do is get your crayons and then lay them up in a, in a nice order. You want to make sure that they're all in the same order because when you glue them on, it looks nicer if all the labels are sticking up. But if your crayons are really kind of nasty and kind of yucky and you want to hide some of it, you can do that too. It's all up to you how you want this to look. There is no right or wrong way to do it. But when you get them all figured out, then you're going to want to take your hot glue and you're going to want to um, run a bead of glue right along the side like that and then glue them down. Now this is a little bit of a time consuming project so I'm going to pause the video here a minute. I'm going to go ahead and glue them all together and we'll be right back. Okay so I'm going to glue the last crayon on here now. As you can see we're just going to run a bead right along the length of the crayon and then you want to slide it into place. You want to make sure your bottoms are all nice and flush with each other like that and then of course if you have these little spider webby glue stringies you can peel them away. Now using a hot glue gun makes it really nice because they are instantly glued to your board which makes it easy to move on to the next step which is melting the crayons. The easiest way to melt your crayons is with a blow dryer. So you're going to want to find a blow dryer and this is going to get really loud and you want to have it set on your highest heat setting um, and I found that it worked best when I ran it at full blast although it does tend to splatter a little bit. If you look here on this one it splattered quite a bit um, if you don't control it. Also if you're using a long board um, you're going to have to keep heating 
the wax as it goes down so it continues to run all the way down. We're going to have my assistant Elizabeth here hold up the board for us. I'm going to start this and then we're going to stop the film and I'll finish um, letting it melt and then we'll start the film back up again for you guys. So this is how we melt the crayons. You're just going to want to aim your heat right here at the top and then slowly move up as you go. It does take um, just a minute or so to get it going. So here we go. And as you can see, you just want to get it over the tops, the tips of the crayons. And your house will smell like wax. It'll be great. The crayons are going to love this. <laughs> Mom! Should we get the cameraman? No! <laughs> just kidding. Oh, see, look, there it's melting. See how it's melting? And you see how it's starting to melt on the purple and the blue? Can we get the pink and the yellow to melt now? And the reds? They're all starting to melt and the dribble and the splatter. Look how fun that is. Be careful not to get burned by the hot wax. That's okay. All right. We're going to stop the video here for a minute. I'm going to finish getting these all melted for you, and then we'll start the video back up again. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we're just about done here. It's really melting and really coming down. If you can zoom in on the crayons, you can see where they're really melting good, all the heat inside the papers. In the various colors to drip and to run. So this is a really good way to teach your kids too about how colors can blend. You can teach them about wind and how um, things can blow in the wind. There's a lot of different science applications we can do with this. It's also very messy. As you can see, I'm covered in wax now, as is my tabletop. And my so dress. do make sure that you protect your surfaces when you're working. So here is what it will look like when you're done blow drying it. You can make it come all the way down if you'd like. On my sample one, um, I had it go all the way to the edge of the thing at the top here. You can see some of the wax puddled at the bottom where I had it up against the table. You don't have to let it go that far if you don't want to. On this one, we stopped it far short of that. It all depends on how you want it to go. Now you can pick out what kind of flowers you want. You might want to let this harden for a few minutes. Um, and while you do that, you can pick out your arrangements. We could go with our tissue paper flowers here. We could put those on if we like. Um, we have a couple different kinds of these. Or we could go with our um, more exotic flowers. I kind of like that one a little bit better. What do you think, Elizabeth? Mm. Like that one better? What do you think, what cameraman? If, wait, wait. He thinks that's a pink one. That's a what good if, one. What if we have... One of each. That would be kind of cool. But maybe we'll do a different one with orange and blue and yellow flowers to use your tissue oh, paper yeah. flowers. So let's do the um, look the more one. realistic. Okay, so we're going to do the more realistic ones. We're going to figure out where we're going to put these. And we could do something like this. We could trim these up if we wanted to. Um, put them in like there. We could even put this one down here like it's coming up alongside. Or we could put it like in the corner like the other one. We could do that too. And kind of eyeball where you want to put these things. We could also just do just the purple one, like it's a single flower in a color exploding vase. There's an option too. Um, or we could just do the one lily flower like that. What do you think, everybody? Let's take a vote. Mm. Pink flower by itself, purple flower by itself, or a combination? A combination. Ellie says combination. Cameraman, what do you think? Combination. All right, then I guess we'll do a combination. So now you're going to need your hot glue gun. Again, you could still use this glue. If you're going to use this glue, make sure you let this sit overnight because it'll take that long for this glue to dry. You could also use craft glue if you have craft glue at home. Not everybody has craft glue though. So with your glue, you want to make sure you can glue your flowers onto your paper as well as you can. Some of the bigger flowers will be a little bit harder to attach. Um, I don't want you to burn yourself, sweetie. Okay. So again, this is a project where you're going to need more of the adults to kind of help out with this. 
because um, we don't want little fingers to get burned unless you're using um, craft glue or Elmer's glue. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put a little bit of glue on here. And we will put this like right here. They're very pretty flowers. They are very pretty flowers. And then we can push this down onto our painting like so and pull our little um, strings away. Now we have to come up with what kind of ribbon we want. Okay, everybody, Ooh. vote time. We can do shiny sparkly ribbon. Yeah. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Or we can do our colorful spotted ribbon. Mm. I like that too. Which one do you like, Ellie? I actually like the spotted one. This, the, this one or the sparkly one? Uh, that one. This one. Cameraman, which one do you like better? You like the spotted one too. Okay, then we'll do the spotted one. So you're going to want to measure the length of your crayons and then slice your ribbon. And then again, you're going to want to put either the regular glue, the craft glue, or your hot glue gun on here. You want just a bead of that. And then you're going to want to make sure you also put a bit on each side of the crayons so that it can fold over. And then we're going to turn this over without burning my fingers. <laughs> but you've already done it so many times that it doesn't. That's yeah. true. I, I don't burn my fingers very easily anymore. And you can put your um, ribbon in like that. If it's too long, simply trim it. Um, we could make like a, a sparkly bow to go on top of it. A sparkly bow to go on top of it? Yeah. Well, that's an idea too. And when we move our little shreds, and we can make either, like Elizabeth said, we can either make a ribbon, a ribbon bow, which means we would need about that much ribbon. And then we can just tie this into a little bow. Here's the tree. The bunny comes around the tree, pops out the hole. And there is your little bow. That takes practice, boys and girls. This would be a good opportunity to learn how to tie. If you're learning how to tie your shoes. You can make lots of little bows for your project with this. And you can also do two bunny ears. Like you I could learned. do two bunny ears like the way Elizabeth learned too. That's right. Okay, and when you have your bow made, then again, they're a little uneven. Hang on. Oopsie. This is post as a perfectionist. <laughs> and we're going to make that even like that we'll put a little bit of glue on the back side and then we're going to glue it right on the corner like that now i think this makes a lovely mother's day gift you can make these for your moms or grandmothers or just someone special in your life who you love very much um, this spring so i hope you enjoyed yeah. making our melted crayon craft i hope yours turns out really good too Feel free to take a picture of your Melted Crayon Craft and share it on my Facebook page. I'd love to see how this all turned out for you all. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.